Yo, what's going on everybody? We're back here on Five Nights Tower Defense. So, I got a good video for you guys. If you guys look at my hotbar, I do have Nintendo 04. And I have Nightmare. I think his name is just Nightmare. And if you guys go scroll over to Season 3 Season Pass. Yes guys, I did reset it again. That's why it's not claimed. Yeah, we have a 30, uh, Tier 30. Nightmare and Endo 04. So what we're going to do is, we're going to really test them out and see how really good they are. Um, I'm going to get a, we do have a buff unit. I do have Puppet's Nightmare on them. And we are going to use, we take Scott off for the time being. We're going to put down our shiny Fredbear. So this could be really interesting. Now if I had Shadow, it would be more, but Puppet Nightmare is just fine. Because we also do get that range from Puppet's Nightmare. Which is, let's see, da -da 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 -da. 50 and plus the range buffs going to be kind of insane. So, they might do some damage, but let's look at see what they already do without anything. Alright, so, Endo 04 is a cone AoE burn. So, it's like his gun's like a flamethrower, he just sets people on fire. But, 4400 exists, 150 starting out, Mac capped at 300, and his range is 22, with a cooldown of 1, which is really, really, really good. Puppet's, well, Nightmare has Puppet's Nightmare on it. He is a AoE poison. 3400 exists. 700 starting out capped at a thousand with puppets nightmare 35 range max out with the other percent 50 which is good and cooldown of 2.5 so they should be doing pretty good damage with both these buffs on guys so without further ado we are going to head into a map i'm thinking about one of the newer maps so let's get into it all right guys so i am on four two best way to ch test this out so <clears throat> before we're putting this down we do got to get our starters down to make us some money because we do love the map money like I said, guys, Torchic is best for giving you money just because she does that AoE poison and she gives you a lot. I need to go turn auto skip on real quick. All right, let's get us some money real quick. She does give us a lot of money. Once, you, only, you only get the, the amount of money when you actually upgrade her, guys. All right, so we got one, two, three down. Uh, if one goes by, that's fine. We're going to upgrade our Toy Chicas. Like so, we are going to... Not put any of our bigger units down. Like, I mean, we're gonna put it. We're not gonna put our boost yet because I do want to see what these guys do without boost. And like, so okay, so he's doing 225 damage, and Nightmare's doing 1,050. So if we do put down a booster like Endo, Shiny Endo, so 298 and 1,030, 1,891. So we should upgrade our Endo Max completely. So 348. And 1627. That's without them upgraded. So let's upgrade our Endo 04 first. So we're doing 697 damage, guys, with a one cooldown. That is rather good. Now I have Vengeance. It would obviously put down the cooldown as well, but we do not have. Now Shiny version would be top tier too, I think. Okay, we're gonna upgrade our Nightmare, and he's doing 22,325 with a 2.5 cooldown. That's rather good. His range is 52. Let's see what a Vengeance Shiny Fredbear Maxis is. Uh, his range too. 85.3 that's pretty good it's pretty pretty good max out this one you don't have enough money that's good we will upgrade this one as well so he's an aoe cone and this one's just the aoe poison that's rather good i have an aoe cone, a cone aoe that is something mm. they're coming off these great units with stuff like that which is good i mean they already came out with a summoner freddles too i mean these units are coming out with an aoe poison now she does poison, but having an AoE poison, I think, changes the game. And having a cone AoE burn, that is that's unworthy. Imagine having a shiny version of this guy, too. I think shiny would obviously, we all know it increases damage if we had shadow or if vengeance. So vengeance will make us cool down 25%, which would be 0 point something. So that'd be really good. All right, so we do have Apostle Freddy. So look how much damage these guys can do. Do I have all everyone down? Yes, I do. Uh, go ahead and put this one right here. I don't think I need it. So they're doing a pretty good amount of damage. I think he started out with the 150 or 125,000. Not too bad. So these guys are good for starters. He is 3,000, but I think he's only good for starters for mid game or end game because most maps, end game maps have about 3,000. But we're gonna head back to the lobby on that note. Yeah. All right, we're back in the lobby, guys. So with that being said, guys, what do you guys think about the new tier 30 units? Are they good? Are they bad? Or what? 
Now, if I did have shiny versions of them, they'd be absolute pretty good. And if I had shadow on them, they'd still be doing pretty good of damage. But not bad for tier 30. Obviously, I did reset my pass again because I did want to absolutely try to get the shiny versions of them. Well, I get it. I don't know. But it is a good, also a good way to get more of the uh, season presence, though. But, yeah. But I did go to back to the snowman, guys. So I'm going to go back and forth switching outfits. Because why not? Who, does, who doesn't love a jelly fat snowman? But... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button down below. With also, subscribing to the channel if you have not already, guys, and turn on that notification bell. We are almost at 8,000 subscribers, and I cannot wait, guys. I might do something special for 10,000. Not sure yet. But, as always, be safe, stay frosty, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.